What is up all you real people? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today guys, we're out here at the awesome spillway. I don't know why I'm showing it. Y'all probably can't see it from here. But yes, we're at the spillway and for once in what feels like a couple months, there's like no one out here. I think there's like one car parked on the shade, but there's no one out here guys. I haven't been out here in a while, not since all the flooding we had and the mass amounts of people out here trying to catch white bass. But guys, I'm out here and I'm really just going to try to catch anything I can. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. It's like 87 degrees right now and it's only 10 o'clock, but it's a beautiful day guys. So let's try to catch some fish for y'all. Let's get it. this nice little crankbait here. Ah. I'll put that right there. Guys, look at that. There's another lure just floating there. It's like a nice one, too. Ha! Huh. Looks like a little Rapala jerkbait. Ha! Huh. Look at that, guys. Just picked that out of the water. Wow, it's the second bait I found. Pretty cool. So, so far I got a crankbait and a jerkbait. <laughs> this might end up being like a uh, lure finding video instead. That is cool. I think I need to change it to something a little bit more bright in color. Um, where is it? I found this little fluke over there. It's kind of busted up, but, but it'll still work. take this off throw them in there There we go. I think that'll work. Let's give her a toss, see how she does. All right guys, so out here behind me about, back in March, about three months ago, this place was filled with people catching striped bass and uh, white bass because they were all spawning and moving down uh, river. And today guys, there's no one here. It's completely trashed as you can see. And so far I've made about 20, 30 casts, nothing. But on the plus side, I'm finding some really cool baits. I got a crankbait, and it looks like a Rapala jerkbait, small size. But hey, you know, it's better than nothing. So if I can't catch anything today, it might end up turning into like a lure, hide and seek, or, you know, find me thing. But, uh, you know, at least we're doing something. Looks great. It's a beautiful day, beautiful waterfall. It's awesome.
got him. Nice little spot. All right, guys. So I've been seeing some blowups over there, and I finally figured out what it is. It's a bunch of these spotted bass. <laughs> now I think there's some bigger ones over there because I see some bigger blowups. But man, are these guys feisty! This guy's actually got another fish down his throat. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. If I can get it out, but that's what they're feeding on. Oh, that's crazy. Hold on. I'm gonna show you all this. I'm gonna get these pliers and pull this fish out. Okay, y'all ready? Watch. Right there. That little minnow. That's crazy. I'm gonna throw this guy back and try to catch some more. And all I'm using over there is a uh, small whopper plopper because I just see them, they're just in a feeding frenzy, feeding on those shad, but I'm using this guy to catch them. There's one, guys. Oh, look at that. Wow, I did not know they were still in here, but I guess they are. That's a nice white bass too. There we go. Nice white bass. Hit him on that uh, white three eighth ounce rooster tail. Yeah, that's a nice one. I actually uh, might keep this guy because I love eating white bass and I did not know they were still in here. I'm really surprised. So that's really cool. That's a cool catch. All right guys, so uh, here's a better picture. Here's that white bass that I caught. Yeah, so I was gonna keep this guy, but I did not have a stringer, nor did I bring my cooler. That is crazy, they're just out there jumping like that. Oh no, they don't wanna do it. But uh, yeah, I was gonna keep this guy, but I did not bring my cooler or anything, and he's a nice white bass. He's a nice one, but I cannot keep him, so I'm gonna let him go. Over here, I got my little setup, fishing on the bottom pyramid with the, that dead shad on it, and just a minute ago, my line went completely slack, and I reeled it up, got all the way up to the bank, and saw a three-foot gar was chewing on it, and then he just let it go, so I kind of lost him. So next time my line goes slack, I'm gonna let it go for a while, make sure they actually get it all the way down their throat, then and hopefully I can land a gar for y'all, which would be awesome. <sighs> Alright guys, it is getting super hot. It is now 2.15. I've been out here for going on four hours now. All I've caught was that spotted bass and that white bass. No other bites. It's really slowed down. Feels like the temperature is 100 degrees right now. Super hot. But if um, I make a few more casts and if I don't catch anything, I think I'm going to call it a day. Just so hot. Bite so slow, but uh, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. <sighs> if you get on that spot where I was at, there's gar going up and down it. Come on. Yeah. No problem, bro. Good luck. Oh, it's gotta give out help to other fishermen. I want someone to do the same for me. What is up, all you real people? I really hope y'all enjoyed today's episode of Go on the Spillway. Even though it was super hot and super slow, we still caught those two awesome fish and that white bass. I was super surprised to catch. Now I know that they're there. I'm definitely going to have to go back sometime soon and catch more of those bad boys. But if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxing channel. Hit that notification bell for more awesome videos like this, guys. Give me the big thumbs up. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you thought. But guys, I'll catch y'all in the next awesome fishing Say video. Goodbye. Peace, guys. Oh, 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 oh